reporting live from Jane Equipment. Today we're going to go over the three different types of air spray gun. We have siphon feed, gravity feed, and pressure feed. I'm going to go over the benefits and the drawbacks of each of these types of spray and um, kind of touch on the differences. I do get a lot of questions about this. Um, so I figured I'd shoot a video and just help everyone out out there with this information. The first thing we're going to touch on here is pressure feed. Pressure feed is the most versatile way to spray. It's the fastest way to spray. And if your finish is the single most important thing, in my opinion, pressure feed still gives us the best finish today. Um, a couple of the pluses and benefits of pressure feed are going to be you're going to be able to dial pressure feed in a lot deeper than any other systems. The reason is you have independent control of your airline and of your fluid line. Um, these systems, siphon and gravity, you're only going to have control of your airline, where on this one we have control of both. So you're really able to dial in a lot deeper. Another plus side of pressure feed is it's gonna be able to handle materials that are thicker than siphon or gravity without needing to thin it. Um, you know, if you're spraying siphon or gravity, you're gonna find yourself thinning material more often than if you're spraying pressure feed. It's gonna be pretty rare that you're um, thinning material. Another thing, um, pressure feed is better for certain situations. Um, where it's heavier body stuff, maybe adhesives, um, epoxies, and zincs, pretty much pressure feed is going to be your way to go. So what are my drawbacks of pressure feed? Well, one of the drawbacks of pressure feed is it's going to be more cleanup. And why would there be more cleanup? Well, if you're spraying with pressure feed, you're going to require an extra component. It's either going to be a pressure pot, which is going to be two and a half gallons or larger, or a pressure cup, which is usually around two quarts. So whenever you're done with each job, not only you got to clean out your gun, you're gonna have to also clean out your fluid line and your pressure pot or your pressure cup. So there's a little more cleanup involved with these systems and one of the main drawbacks of that. Um, but otherwise, like I said, the benefits are it is faster, it's able to handle more materials and you're gonna be fitting less stuff. And like I said, it's a very versatile way to spray. Uh, this is the single most versatile way to spray. Another great feature about this is I can actually spray in any direction. I can hold this gun upside down, sideways, upright. It doesn't make a difference because the material is being fed via pressure directly into the gun. Moving on from that, we're going to touch on siphon feed. So some of the benefits of siphon feed... Um, are gonna be, it's gonna be less cleanup because now there's no more pressure pot or pressure cup to clean up. Everything is pretty self-contained. It's right here and my cleanup is really just essentially the cup, my material comes out and goes straight out. You know, paint really doesn't go anywhere else except right into this section. So that makes it clean up a lot easier. Um, there's much less adjustment in siphon cup systems so it's very beginner friendly or user friendly, however you want to say it. Um, so that's one of the big benefits that people like about Siphon Cup. There's less setup. You're, you know, you don't really have to sit here and dial in as deeply as you would with a pressure feed system. Um, these guns are considered self-regulating. Uh, what I mean by that is because of the way it inherently works, which is as the air is passing by this cup here, the air itself is creating a vacuum and drawing your material up. Because of that, you can realistic it's really difficult for your gun to draw more material than the air can handle and atomize because it really is kind of they have such a deep relationship to each other because the air itself is what's forcing the material up or drawing the material up that you know it's kind of a self-regulating system. You know, as long as you don't have just like a complete incorrect needle nozzle for your material, for the most part, you're always going to have kind of the right mixture of air and material. Um, this 
Siphon system can also be used with some HVLB turbine systems. Um, that's something that's a little advanced, but I figured I'd touch on it there. Um, and that's pretty much it with the siphon cup. What are some of the drawbacks? Um, some of the drawbacks are I have to hold this gun upright to spray. Um, there's a physical tube running down here where the paint travels up. So if I hold my gun sideways, I might not get my material. If I hold my gun upside down, I'm absolutely not going to be able to spray. So this gun, more or less, must be held upright to spray. That's one of the drawbacks. Another drawback is going to be, because I have this large cup at the bottom, I'm not going to be able to get it into these small areas. Um, you know, so if I'm working in really small or confined spaces, sometimes this cup's going to get in my way. And that's one of the drawbacks there. Um, siphon is going to be the slowest way to spray of these three ways. Um, it's not going to be as fast as gravity or pressure feed. And um, also, the material is going to require thinning, um, which I touched on earlier. Uh, you are going to have to thin material. You're going to find yourself thinning material for this. The reason is because the material is being drawn up only by a vacuum created by the air, the material is too heavy. It's just not going to get drawn up, and you'll find yourself thinning it out. And that's pretty much a good overview of the siphon cups. Moving on from there now, we have gravity feed. So what are the benefits of gravity feed? Um, the main benefits of gravity feed are going to be, it's going to be a little faster than siphon. Um, gravity feed is very popular in the auto body world. Um, you always are going to get a more consistent material flow because it's just gravity drawing your material down. And as we all know, you know, gravity's a constant. So you're always getting that constant flow. As long as you don't have a blockage or any other situations there, it's a very constant material flow. Um, gravity feed is available in HVLP, conventional, or LVMP. So that's one plus about that. Um, another good plus is since it's smaller than the siphon cup, I'm going to be able to get this in to smaller areas. Um, so confined air is going to be good, which is why kind of in this example, I have a pretty small gun. You'll notice that there are some pretty small guns for gravity feed. You can also get full size one like this, but you'll find smaller guns like this also kind of for that specific reason. Um, a couple of the drawbacks are going to be, we're going to have a limited cup size. Um, this is a very small cup. There's also medium and large ones. But they're never going to get as large as a siphon cup. You'll never see a cup this size on top like that. It just won't be that way. So that's one limitation. Another limitation is going to be I still need to hold this upright. Because gravity is drawing it down. Obviously, there's going to be a limit to how far sideways I can go. And upside down will absolutely not be an option. So that's what we got on those. Um, and that's pretty much the difference between these three. Between gravity siphon and pressure feed if you guys have any questions about this don't hesitate to leave us a comment here on youtube you can call us or email us or follow us on instagram we have a very active community and we do love um interacting with you guys via all of our social networks if you have any questions leave us a comment give us a call we'll get back to you have a great day out there guys